Guys, we got fractional shares on Robinhood. And you know what else we got? We got Drip. Coming early 2020, get on the list. Hi guys, I'm Michael Romero, and I do a lot of videos on dividend investing on Robinhood, using Robinhood and M1 Finance. And one of the more notable things with M1 Finance is its fractional shares and dividend reinvestment program, otherwise known as Drip. But finally, just a few days ago, um, I got a notification on my phone saying that fractional shares is finally available for Robinhood. And this is awesome. And guys, if you want to get on the list for fractional shares for Robinhood, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys. Um, but for those of you who don't know, uh, fractional shares is basically an easier way for people with less money to um, buy larger shares in a company. Companies like Amazon, Tesla, Google, you know, things like that. And one of the reasons I think they did this is because of, is the fact that, you know, Charles Schwab and all these other companies are now going to commission free trades. And Robinhood, as such a great company it is, is trying to keep up with staying ahead of those guys. And really, some of the only things that they were lacking to stay ahead of them would be the dividend reinvestment program or DRIP, which I'm gonna explain to you guys in a little bit, or, uh, and or, the fractional shares that you can buy. Now, if you don't know what fractional shares is, basically, let's go into the phone and I'll kind of show you guys what it's about. So, Amazon is about $1,760. So what fractional shares allows you to do is own a portion of a share of a fraction of Amazon. Um, so basically, instead of putting out the whole $1,700, $1,760, which a lot of people, a lot of us don't have just to invest in one stock, you put uh, $1 or $10 or $20 or $50 and you own a little bit of a share of that stock, a little portion of that stock. And the great thing about it, if the company has a dividend, you also capture a portion of the dividend that it's gonna pay you. Now, when it comes to this DRIP or dividend reinvestment program, what it does, it automatically reinvests the dividends you get into the company that the dividend came from. So for instance, on December 27th, Bank of America will be paying me $1.26. Now, as of right now, what would happen was I would have to reinvest all the dividends I get into whatever I wanted to. But with the DRIP or dividend reinvestment program, what it does is this $1.26 I get from Bank of America, it automatically reinvests it back into Bank of America, which the fractional shares and the drip kind of coincide and go together. So basically, instead of me having to go in and manually reinvest these dividends once I get a certain amount of money to reinvest it in, to reinvest, um, it takes any amount of dividend and reinvests it back into the portfolio which is great guys and if you don't know there's another brokerage out there called m1 finance that does all of this exactly the same but it's been doing it for about a year now well early 2020 is when robin hood is supposed to be launching their uh drip and fractional shares and like i said the reason i think they're doing this is because they know that they have to stay ahead of the game especially with all these other brokerages going to go on to commission free trades. As you can see here with M1 Finance, you can buy little pieces of a company. And with Robinhood doing this, I think the only other real competitor for, let's say the younger generation, the younger um, investors is M1 Finance because you they automatically, they have the drip program and they have the fractional share. So you can put, let's see here, $33 in the Amazon and you'll have a certain amount in there. So that's basically what fractional shares is. If you don't know, and if you don't have M1 Finance, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and use it to sign up too. Um, and if you wanna learn more about dividends and dividend reinvesting, I'm gonna leave a link, in, I'm gonna leave a video link in the comments for you guys to check out a previous video that I did. It, it is a older video of mine, but I still think it holds weight and it holds value guys once again guys thank you so much 
And update, for those of you who watched my spreadsheet video, I found out how to automate my Google Documents um, spreadsheet uh, dividend tracker. All I have to do is type in the ticker symbol, the amount of shares I have, and my average price, and everything else fills out on its own. And that is great. I'm so excited to learn how to do that. But guys, um, thank you for watching. If you found value out of this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. And if you're still watching it and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click that red subscribe button to join this little, you know, thing we got going on here. And uh, guys, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you have to do is click one of these videos.